kind of race where Bola School has an opportunity to, you know, get back, you know, make up for lost ground in the 4x1. They have an opportunity here in the 4x4 to challenge a team like Heidel, however tough that might be. But I think Bola School is the, the Americans' top hopes here. You know, Jamaica has a, a litany of schools here with, with a strong, strong running. Heidel, you know, yesterday, 339, and they were cruising Phil uh, in, in, their, in their round. I think, you know, Edwin Allen, 345 yesterday, Homewood Tech. Uh, it, it's going to be a very, very fast 4x4 here in the Championship of America section presented by Grace Foods. So, uh, and actually, Heidel is uh, sort of chasing a, a legacy because they hold the uh, uh, Penn Relays and Franklin Field records uh, back to 2017 at 333.99. And you mentioned cruising at a 339.34. Um, so we'll just see how close they can come to that record the uh, looking at the flags again a little bit of a breeze blowing once again I know yesterday Olivia uh, Ekpone our partner had said it was pretty much a straight line blowing uh, from the open end to the close end not swirling too much so they're going to get the advantage down the back straight but uh, going to hit it head on uh, as they head toward the start finish line and yesterday there was a little bit of a gamesmanship from Heidel in the third leg, you know, one of their legs kind of jogged the first 200 meters and then waited for the next athlete to come up on her and then she broke away. I think, you know, that's the type of, uh, of move o only truly confident teams make. Well, I don't think they'll have the luxury of doing that today with all, everyone on the line. But, you know, I think we could see, you know, some very, very challenging, you know, uh, legs here. Uh, you mentioned about the opportunity for uh Bullis School to uh, gain some redemption also for uh, for Homewood Tech with the unfortunate incident in the four by eight relay. They're out here on the track. Uh, one of the uh, Jamaican schools uh, uh, opportunity to uh, maybe send a message to their teammate uh, is, you know, get well soon and uh, we're doing this for you. And we're underway and they expect uh, a lot of uh, crowd reaction to this race with five teams from the island country of Jamaica. Very, very important first leg here for all these teams. I think Bullis has to make a statement here uh, with Mariah Bernard, who I believe is, is leading off for the team. If you can put them in a position you know, after the, the turn to kind of, you know, get in, in a position to, to run at the front, then they're going to be in a good spot. About 11 seconds separated the fastest from the ninth qualifiers in yesterday's prelims. 339 to 351. And coming down the home stretch, this is a three turn stagger. So they'll be in lanes until they hit the back straightaway once again. So in front, the Bullis School from Maryland, but with. Heidel and Edwin Allen inside running strong. Heidel again ran 339 34 yesterday. They have the facility and Penn Relays record. And we're going to have four teams have separated themselves from the rest of the field. Yeah, and it actually looks like Heidel might have switched one of their legs from anchor yesterday to maybe the second leg but today. It looks like a Rika. McGanoff possibly running here for Heidel out in front. Um, definitely, definitely cre has created a gap. She was their strongest runner yesterday with the 52 split, and now she has created such a significant difference here now in the second leg. Coming up to the exchange zone for the second time, it is Heidel in front. They were a 339 team yesterday, they had 146 at the midpoint. And that's Brianna Liston now for Heidel out, out in front. Edwin Allen and Bullis School chasing it. And behind them, actually, Clayton of New Jersey running very, very strong. They, they were out of the public section yesterday, made their way into the Championship of America. They've run uh, extremely well. The gap between Heidel in first and Edwin Allen in second after 800 was almost three seconds. 
But that gap has closed. It is Heidel and Edwin Allen. The record was in the conversation, 333.99. They split 147 flat at 800. And Kerika Hill of Heidel is one of the top U20 talents uh, in, in, in the world. We'll see something special from her, I think, in the final 400 meters here. 241 with a lap to go and a full three second plus advantage for Heidel. Amira Sharp trying to make Clayton the top American team. Bull is trying to close now with their anchor, which is Sage Hinton. Hinton. And Edwin Allen now back into the number two spot. Here comes Bullis School moving up into the number three position, but it's all Heidel out in front. Kerka Hill running super composed and poised with just over 150 to go on the clock here. 314. We'll see if they can get in contention of that 333, Phil. It looks like they have a shot. They have 12 seconds to do it. 333.99. Possibly soon to be the old pen I, relays I think this record. This is going down, Phil. And a new record in the pen relays 4x4 championship of America. It's Heidel with the victory 332 double sevens. And that's a 51.42 split for Carica Hill on the anchor, bringing this team home to a new meet record. What a fantastic effort. Edwin Allen, it should be said, under 340 for the race. Bull is 340. Tremendous performances all together. And Homewood in the number four position. Uh, Paul Robeson from New York finished fifth at 343. But uh, again, a record-breaking run by Heidel from Jamaica. 332.77, there are the numbers. First through ninth, the championship of America in the four by four presented by Grace Foods. Tactical position by the coach twitching to the legs from yesterday to today. Uh, so again, the perfect conditions to run this race. We talked about the wind, but again, the sun is up in the 60s today. Uh, that's why I think a number of these teams in the prelims yesterday were looking for. And Olivia with our championship team from Heidel. I am down with Heidel, who just broke the pen release record. Brianna anchored this team. Brianna, talk to me about what that leg was like for you. Um, it was, I, thought, I thought it would have been more challenging. It was, but um, I just came out here to do what my coach asked me to do and deliver for my team. Now, we're, with the mindset going into this race, going to break that record of 333? No, we just came here to defend our title. Are you impressed with the 332? I am. Awesome. Well, way, way to bring it back to Jamaica. Gentlemen, back to you. Thanks, Olivia. A championship run and a record-breaking run by Heidel from Jamaica. 332.77 as we prepare for uh, our first look at the sprint medley relay.